Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Ladwa and in this video we are going to write a C program to display rainbow color using switch statement. Let us write the preprocessor directives hash include in angular braces I am going to write stdio.h hash include conio.h wide main function curly open brace and here I am going to declare a color code of type integer and put semicolon and here I will write CLR ESCR so this function clears the screen now I will ask the user to enter the color code using printf statement we will write printf in a double quotation mark I will write enter the color code put semicolon. Now we will write scanf statement to receive the input from the user. So here in a double quotation mark I will write the format a specifier percentage %d and in the double quotation mark put comma ampersand of the variable name that is color code and close the bracket put semicolon. Now we have to pass this color code entered by the user in a switch statement. So here I am going to write switch and inside the round bracket I am going to write color code. So whatever the color code entered by the user will be matched with the case label. If it matches with any of the case label that particular case label code will get executed. So here I will use curly open brace this curly open brace indicates this is the beginning of body of the switch statement here we are going to write the case labels so case is a keyword and i'm going to write number one and here i'm going to put colon and now i'm going to write printf statement and we know the colors of the rainbow so here i'm going to write the rainbow colors in short as Vib Goyer. So V is violet, I is indigo, B is blue, G is green, Y is yellow, O is orange and R is red. So we are going to use all of them. So first when the user presses 1 then it should display the color code as violet. So for that here I am going to write violet. End the double quotation mark, put semicolon and for every case label there must be a keyword called break otherwise all the case labels will get executed so next case number 2 so print f statement so after violet what we have we have indigo so here we are going to write in a double quotation mark the next color is indigo and put semicolon here we will write break statement next is case 3 Again, we'll write printf statement and after indigo, so which color we had? Blue. Here, we will write in a double quotation mark, blue. End the double quotation mark and put a semicolon. Now, we are going to write a break statement and once again, we'll write case number 4. Here, after blue, we have got green. Here, we'll write printf statement and in a double quotation mark after blue we will write here green and the double quotation mark put semicolon again write the break statement so case number 5 printf statement and after green we have got yellow so we will write yellow so here in a double quotation mark I am going to write the next color yellow and we will use the break statement and once again case 6 printf after yellow we have got orange right yes next we will write here orange and the double quotation mark and then we will write here break statement similarly we will write case 7 printf statement after orange what we had we had red right 
so we'll write here red color and the double quotation mark put semicolon and then break statement here we have covered all the seven colors of the rainbow what if the user enters any other number other than in between one and seven in that situation we have to execute the default statement for that i have to use a keyword called default then we have to write colon we'll write here printf statement and in the double quotation mark i'm going to write the error message as error in color code error in color code end the double quotation mark put semicolon now we are going to close this switch statement here you can see switch statement opening was there for that this closing and here you can see we had wide main opening for this we have to write the closing bracket after writing get ch function here i'm going to put curly closing brace now let us execute this program so here in order to execute this program we have to compile and run this program so we have to run this program once we run this program we are going to get the information like enter the color code for example i'm going to write here output enter the color code so it is going to ask the user to enter the color code so what i'm going to do is i'm going to press any number in between 1 to 7 if you want even you can mention over here 1 to 7 for example here i'm going to write 1 to 7 in a double quotation mark only for example within this colon right so 1 to 7 so that the user will get to know that he or she has to press the numbers in between 1 to 7 okay yes uh, now I'm going to, for example, enter 6. So here, 6 is stored in color code and it is passed in switch statement. So it is going to match with case label. So here case 1 is not matching with color code 6. So 6 is not equal to 1. Hence, case 1 will not get executed. 6 is not equal to 2. It is not going to execute case 2. 6 is not equal to 3. Hence, it is not going to execute case 3 here 4 is not equal to 6 and 5 now 6 is equal to 6 so it is going to print orange and then break out break out means what the control comes out of the switch statement and then it is going to execute the next statement if any we don't have any other statements here the entire program will get terminates here what it is going to print it is going to print orange what if the user presses any other number other than in between 1 to 7? Now, we are going to run this program once again. Let us take this one as run2. Again, it will ask the user to enter the color code. So here, for example, I am going to enter 10, which is not present in any of these case labels. We have got only case 1 to case 7. So case 10 is not at all present. In that situation, you can see here we have written a default statement. That is, it consisting of message like error in color code. So this default statement will get executed. Here we'll write error in color code. So let us execute this program. For that, I will take you to my laptop screen. Here I have already written this program to save your time in Turbo C++ compiler. So let us compile this program by pressing Alt F9. So here you can see it is showing success. There is no syntax error. I'm going to press enter and now we are going to run this program by pressing Ctrl F9. Here you can see it is asking the user to enter the color code between 1 to 7 here in this example i'm going to enter 6 you can enter any other number in between 1 to 7 
so here i have pressed enter here you can see it is showing the color orange now once again we are going to run this program by pressing control f9 here once again it is asking the user to enter the color code between 1 to 7 so intentionally or accidentally if i write the numbers uh, which is not present in the range of 1 to 7 for example i'm going to enter 10 and press enter in that situation the default statement must get executed so here in default statement we have written error in color code i hope you understood if so please type in the comment box as understood thank you